Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Okay, we're back, and here's our little... Whoa, that's, that's hot. <laughs> uh, so, oh, maybe 12, 14 years ago, I ended up making a sign for... Uh, for uh, Bay Area Rapid Transit. It was a monster sign, maybe 14 feet tall, and, you know, housings for three or four computer-generated uh, screens. And I ended up with a bunch of scrap out of that. And this is one of those pieces. And over the years, I've used a little chunk here and a little chunk here, there. And I'm down to this and a couple of other small pieces, and that's it. But uh, this was uh, 316 stainless, which is insanely hard to work with. And I didn't know it at the time. And so I bid the job, you know, assuming that it was going to be easy to uh, drill. And there was a bunch of holes to drill in it. <laughs> Basically, I ate the big one on that, but I learned some lessons and uh, and uh, hey, you know, went on. So what we're going to do here, and this is uh, polished material, and they put this uh, plastic film on it when it's polished, and uh, what I didn't know, and it comes right off real easy, but what I didn't know is if it stays on there for any length of time, and in this case, 12, 15 years, then uh, it's impossible to get it off. Get off. But I've, I've, you know, I've got most of it off. So uh, I've set up, okay, here's what we've got. We're gonna build three of these so that it, this comes, uh, into here and pulls up against the the edge of the uh, of the cup and pushes in this bottom piece and we're gonna just see if we can stand that up and holds that bottom piece in place and then on the top we'll set up our screw and and then a, some kind of T-handle or something, and the screw will push this, uh, <laughs> push the, uh, the plunger down in and uh, squish the, uh, the cone. So that should work out okay, I'm thinking. So this is where I get to use my new uh, uh, plasma torch. But first, before we use that, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut out a piece of sheet metal uh, in order to use it as our pattern. Okay, so the pattern torch works by taking one of these little followers. We'll bring it in closer so you can see it. And the follower turns around and it's electro, uh, it has electromagnet on it. So then it runs up against the steel and then it just kind of walks around. You've seen it work. But the problem is, well, it's not a problem. It's... Uh, a, it's something that needs a solution. So uh, what it is that this travels around, but this is a quarter inch. And so any lines needs to be an eighth of an inch in from wherever you're working from, from the master. So, oops, bang there. So what I have to do is I have to visually come in we're just going to use something to and you know what I, I want to put a little bit of a taper on that 
So something like that. Come on, let's make it look nice. Well, that's not a taper at all, is it? That's almost even. All right. And my eraser juice here, Breaklean, from the auto parts store. Cheap and very effective. Okay, let's do this again. So maybe we go the opposite direction. Now, we, you know, we don't have a whole lot of pressure against this. Yeah, that looks good. And then we come in and take an eighth inch off of this. And an eighth inch off of this. And I want to kind of round that over. And an eighth inch off here. over and then we want a, a uh, circle and I'm thinking we can just use a washer here yep looks like it's gonna be just about right All right, let's go over to the uh, shear and shear this all away. Right, first, uh, first thing we're going to do is just take off all of the perimeter stuff that we can get to easily. So that's pretty good right there. Okay. And then this. All right, that has the outside. Now we'll take take it over to the to the Beverly Beverly shear and shear out the inside. All right. Okay, easy as pie. There we go. Pretty much what we want. Okay, well, I've cut out three of these <laughs> because I forgot to turn the camera on. So I'm going to cut a fourth one out just to prove that I can. So here comes the fourth one. Well, it turns out that the fourth one came out the best, so it's good that I saved it for you. 
So uh, we're going to take them out and see what they look like. All right, we got to chip off all this slag here, and it's a little easier to get off now that we've ground it a bit. But it still isn't easy. I think the nickel in this, this is 316, and I think the nickel in this just, you know, is just a mess. All right, we got one. I did, already did one, so we got one more to do. Now, I wasn't able to get in here, but I think what I'm going to do is mill this because I want this to be consistent each one. So I'm going to drill a hole first and then clamp them both all together and get them to hold together and then just mill that out. And then at the same time, I can come in and and throw a quick mill on that surface there and right there. But I think that's going to work. Let's take it over and have a look. All right. This is the bottom plate. And it's going to sit in there like this. Something like that. And then this top plate will come in like that and ride up against the bottom plate and hold it in and there'll be three of these of course and then this up here on top is going to have a hole in it and then it will have a pivot so that I can just push this down and swing this out of the way and get it out of the way so that all of this can be pushed out with the wax in, in place and then and maybe just put it on a hot skillet or something like that and the wax starts to melt and then just pull it off so that looks pretty good I'm fairly happy we'll be back okay so we're gonna come in and square up this surface and this surface here uh, and right now we got the clamps on because I'm not sure where that surface is <laughs> Drop this down. And we're close to touching. And it's it's off for sure. Okay, try that. That's reasonable. Okay, I like it. Tighten it up. Take our clamps off. And actually, we're going to move the clamp over to here so we can get a, a little bit of extra clamping action right there. <clears throat> 
well that's not going to work because we need that that edge right there huh okay let's see what we got that looks pretty good ah okay it's up a little bit That's up down too far. Ah, that looks pretty good. So we're going to drop it down. We may have to come in and make this a little bit more angle. Okay, we're square here and here, and that's what we want. Now we need to make a, this notch a little more defined. So I think the only way to do that is to go in with a very small bit and, uh, and torque this and then just come across. So... <clears throat> okay, I think that's going to do the trick this will hook into the edge we'll just file that out just a little bit and we'll be full good now we got to oh you didn't see it did you <laughs> well there you go um, so I came in and just you know clarified that notch a little bit so now what we have to do is come in and drill a hole in the up here and keep everything together while we're doing it so go ahead and put our clamp back on Let's look at that. You can kind of see. Well, there's just one little edge here that's got to be, I think you can pretty much take that out with a file. Looks good otherwise. Okay, so, and I'm going to come in this little top edge. I can just round that off and uh, because it's not really doing anything. So let's go in and drill ourselves a hole through this here and we'll be set now of course drilling a hole in that could be a bit problematic because this is not square so we could just come in and grab it like a triangle let's do that what we can come up with yeah there we go pretty straight pretty even And now, as I said before, 
I learned about 316 stainless the hard way because I bid the job knowing I had to drill, drill a bunch of holes but not knowing how hard it is to drill 316 stainless and so you have to take it special and we're gonna set this up and the nice thing about doing work for just me is I get to eyeball everything in now uh, stainless is a weird thing because you literally have to go extremely slow with lots of oil let's make sure we're where we want to be okay a little bit further up otherwise you end up whoops that didn't work Okay, maybe a little faster. Otherwise, what happens is the drill bit uh, stops drilling and work hardens the metal. And then you can't drill it at all. There we go. It is moving our target. So let's get something behind it to support it. We got a hole started, so we don't need the center any longer. And we're going to go ahead and go in with a fairly small bit to begin with. Number 24 should do us. There we go. And onward and upward.
Okay, we finally made it through. 